Welcome to Pop Pod's Workshop. Today I want to take the opportunity to go through and make a couple of shop fixtures to be able to hold the clamps and to get the shop a little bit more organized. This is one of the things that you have asked me in a number of different questions. So I want to be able to continue this effort to be able to try to answer those questions. And today I made a simple little fixture for my 90 degree uh, angle clamp and also remade a brand new fixture to hold these clamps and recycled the one that was holding these. So this was real simple, real easy, and this will be part of the beginner series. So let's go ahead and get started. Clamp storage is always a challenge because as many clamps as you have, you always find that you're going to need some additional clamps. And you're also going to find some clamps that you rarely use. So these little framing clamps over here, I really don't use any longer. So I'm going to have to put those away and sell those. And these spring clamps are very useful, but they're not stored very well. And of course, I have my new 90 degree right angle clamp that I need to find a home for. And these clamps, I'm just out of room on that holder, so I need to make that holder a little bit longer. So it's time to be able to do a little bit of reorganizing today and get this area a little bit more efficient. People will always ask how I design the little holders, and it usually begins, of course, with the product and some scrap wood. And here, I just want to be able to cut this little edge off to begin with. So there's no measurements. I'm just gonna slide that over to about there. I do need to raise this up a little bit higher, lock my fence in place, and then I'm gonna run this through the saw. Now I have a nice clean edge that I can work with. And I think the simplest way is just to be able to have that sitting here. And then two little pieces of wood, and I have some little scrap three quarter inch wood I'm going to cut down and make that work, but I think that'll hold it just fine. So as far as the height of this, I can make it about two inches and that will be plenty. I'm going to get this turned around into the camera so that you can see it. Because that actually is about two and an eighth, or if you want to look at millimeters, okay, you've got about uh, 55 millimeters. I'm just going to set this up for two inches and rip this wood. And that's close enough. I don't have to be exact. And I think if I cut this in half, one piece is going to work just fine. Now, if I have this sitting right here in the center of this little scrap piece of wood, then I can put this right in here. And this is going to be long enough to put the other piece over here. Now, as it comes down, it does change the angle. So I'm going to hold that off of the bottom just a little bit. But I think what I'm going to do is just take and make a 45 degree cut so that this is a little bit nicer. So I'm going to take this over to the miter saw, and we're going to make that 45 degree cut. So at the miter saw, I set it up where the blade is turned at the 45 degree angle, and I'm just making that first cut. And realizing, since that uh, clamp comes down and it has that little offset there at the very end, I decided just to be able to go ahead without even looking at it and cut that little tip off of my 45 degree angle and I think you'll see in a minute that probably wasn't the best idea. Now, I actually made two cuts. I cut this at 45 degrees angle and then I came back and cut this at the 90 and that way when this sits here yeah I don't like that.
think what I want to do is cut that in that direction. So I think I'm going to turn it over and just cut that at the 45 degree angle there. And I think that'll work better. Okay, so I made that little cut. So that'll sit right down here at the bottom. That'll give me a little bit of space in here. And then I'll just cut this square at the top right about there. And that'll be my first piece. So after making all the cuts, I realized that it was actually too short and I didn't like it. So it's time to cut some new pieces that were longer. Okay, now then, I went ahead and cut two brand new blocks that I'm going to use. And what I'm going to do, I'm gonna just going to go ahead and set that in here. And you notice as I slide that down, it bumps. And it's because of how this is made right here. So it won't allow it to slide all the way down. So I need to be able to remove that. So if this is sitting right at the bottom and flush, and that sits into here, and I want that flush, then I need to be able to trim this back a little bit, about right there, and I'll do that on both pieces, and that will allow this to sit down nice and flush with this clamp as it comes down. So I'm gonna take this back over to the miter saw and cut this little tip off of each of these pieces. So you can see as I'm making this project and making up each of the parts as I go along, mistakes do happen. But it's really not a big deal. It's just a matter of recutting it and coming up with a different idea and making it work. And that's what I did with these two parts here. I think those are gonna work just fine. So let's go back over there and take a look. Okay, those will sit right there. That will come down flush to that point. This has the space to be able to support the top of the clamp. I think that's going to work just fine. So I'm going to go ahead now and just mark this. And we'll go ahead and um, screw these into place. I think I'm just going to use a nail gun and shoot them in place and be done with it. I'm just going to mark this where I want it, which is going to be right there. I like that. That's nice and flush. That's flush on both sides. That holds that exactly where I want it. I think that's going to be good. The only thing I think I'm going to do, this extends over just a very, very slight amount. I think I'm just going to go ahead and trim that off just to make it look a little bit nicer. Not that it needs to be, but it'll make it look a little bit better. So I went ahead and cut that little edge off. I think that's going to sit in there just fine now. Could it get fancier? Sure, I could cut these ends off, but I don't think that I'm going to do that. I am going to go ahead and mark a place for my screw holes. And I think I'm going to go ahead and cut this down smaller. We're going to cut that down. Let's say we'll make it a little bit taller. So right about there. So I'm going to cut that off. We'll rip this off right here. And that'll get rid of that little bit of waste. Not really necessary, but we'll make it look a little bit nicer. Now, I have my mark on this side, so I really can't set that fence up. But I can go ahead and line it up this way and set it on that side. And then just slide it around and cut it. Now, then one last look before we nail it together. I think that's going to look real good. And I think that'll hold onto the wall nicely. All right, so let me go ahead and get the nail gun and uh, some glue. And we'll put these two pieces on there. The other thing I'm going to do is go ahead and pre-drill my holes. And I think, do that right here. I think that'll work just fine. Putting that there. And there, so I'll pre-drill that. We'll get the glue 
glue and nail that in place, and then we'll hang it on the wall. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pre-drill the holes to begin with. And I went ahead and put in the bit that I need to be able to accept this screw. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pre-drill that. There we go. So that's done. Okay, so that's gonna go right there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the glue on it. There we go. Do the same thing to this one. Then I'm going to turn it over. Now what I'm using today, I'm just using the one inch long uh, 18 gauge staple to be able to hold that in place. Reason being, really, it was just the first gun that I grabbed. That will slide right there. That is going to be perfect. Let's go get it on the wall. Now, I think what I'm going to do is put that right about here in that dead space. I'm going to slide it over so it still stays clear of that plug. But I think that is going to work pretty well. So what I'm going to do is just take my first screw and just go ahead and screw it into the wall. It's nice having the wood wall. I can just screw this anywhere. And there we go. I'm gonna get the level now and um, we'll just bring that up, make sure it's level and I'll put the second screw in it. Yeah, let's see how that is. Need to come down just a little bit. Not much though. So that's perfect. So now I'll go ahead and screw in the second screw. And this project is done. Making simple little fixtures like this to be able to hang your tools on the wall does not have to be difficult, and it doesn't take a whole lot of effort to be able to do it. And that's going to hold that just fine right there. So there's my new home for my 90 degree right angle clamp. Grabbed another piece of scrap wood, and we'll make a, um, another quick little tool holder to be able to hold those other clamps. So what I'm going to do is just make this one, I'll make this one about three and a half inches wide, and we're going to make it about 18 inches long. Just to set this up to my three and a half inches, not that it matters a whole lot, but I want to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with this five millimeter material. All right, all I'm gonna do is just run a bead of glue right down here. Got a little bit much at the beginning there. Then I'm gonna take this, put it right into that spot where I want it. And we'll just nail it in place with these staples.
pressure is gone on my gun. Well, this is what happens when you turn your air compressor off and you forget that you turned it off. And you're a little bit impatient and you don't want to wait until the compressor fills back up with air. So, what do you do? All you do is grab a hammer and continue on. Every now and then that happens and I'll just take the hammer and tap these on in. So that still works just fine. And now I'm ready to hang this on the wall. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off the excess glue. And this simple little tool hanger is done. I'm not even gonna put the rounded edges on it because I want the clamps to go all the way out to the end. And the first thing we're gonna do is take all these clamps down. And it's time to retire this holder. Now we'll put the new one up here and we should be able to put that right about I think that's going to be a good spot I'll put it down just now and we'll keep it right there go ahead and put the first screw in it here in the center there we go Grab my level. I need to raise this one up just a little. That was pretty close. Perfect level. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the other two screws in. All done. Now we'll get all the clamps back into position. And we've got these little small ones. Now I'm leaving a space here because I do have another one of these clamps, but that clamp's over at my son's house, so he borrowed it. So I'm gonna put these little ones up here. So now all the clamps are in position and I've got room for some additional clamps. The last thing I want to do is go ahead and recycle this holder and I'm going to put it down low in basically the same place. But I'm going to go ahead and recycle all of this because these are some items that I do not use anymore. So these are coming off. And you can see when I made this one, I made it a little bit fancier. I even put the little trim edge on it, rounded these corners. But quite frankly, none of that really is important for it. We'll get this one back up. I'll drop it down low. I think right about there will be good. We'll take my screw, put it back in place. Drop the level on it. All done. Now the only clamps that I want up here are these clamps. I've got one orange one. And I've got a couple of little guys. And we're all done. That's all that's going to go into that tool holder. So in less than a half an hour... I was able to make a brand new tool holder for my 90 degree right angle clamp. I went ahead and made a brand new tool holder for these clamps and reorganized this section and put this one and repurposed the tool holder that I was using uh, before. So this makes a much nicer, well-organized area now for all of these different clamps. 
And, oh, by the way, just so you know, this does still open, and that does not hit anything. It works perfectly. But, what the heck? Again, no tape measure on that. If it had hit, I would have just lowered it down a little bit and kept going. Now, this is part of the beginner series on the clap organization, and this helps to answer some of the questions that you guys have had about how to make these very easy uh, fixtures to build a hold your different tools. I want to take this opportunity to thank all of my Patreons for supporting this channel and to all of you who continue to enjoy the videos that I make. And so please subscribe, like, and share this video. And by the way, hit that little bell notification down below so you'll be notified on the different videos that I make. Again, thank you to everyone who supports this channel. I look forward to seeing you next time in whatever project that I'm working on in the shop. So for now, bye-bye, and I'll see you soon.